Hi guys! In this video we would like to introduce you to Adobe Substance in 3D Media. These mathematically generated materials open up a whole new world for you to create and subsequently modify your designs directly in media. You can either create your own substances using Substance Designer or use Adobe's huge online library with thousands of ready-to-use substance materials. For quick access to this online library, we've added a new resources menu in Data Manager. Here you'll find useful web links to materials, 3D applications, avatars from our partners, and of course, Adobe Substance. On the Adobe Assets website, you can find hundreds of ready-to-use substances sorted by categories. The authors usually prepare presets, which you can check out in the previews. Let's search for some glitter to spice up our simulation. Just pick the file you like and hit the download button. The SPSAR file contains everything you need. After downloading, you can import the Substance Archive as usual in Data Manager. Many substances already come with presets that allow you to configure the substance a certain way. Here you can set the texture size depending on which resolution you want for the final result. The substance then is calculated with these initial values and inserted as a texture, application, or else in video. Let's switch to the simulation. The imported file is now available in the Applications tab. Adobe Substance objects can be recognized by the Substance icon in the preview image. If you want to see only Substance materials, feel free to apply a filter. Now only Substance materials are displayed. Substances are used like anything else in 3D video. Just drag and drop it onto your garment piece. The best feature of a substance is that you can change it directly in video. The setting options for the substance can be found in the rendering tab. We have created a new dialog that includes all the options each substance has to offer. With this substance, for example, you can type any text you'd like. Use a preset design or change the shape by using your own graphic. Let's adjust the color. and save it as a new application. Need more? Feel free to create as many variants as you want. This gives you complete freedom of your own designs and drafts. And the best thing is, this works with any type of data. Let's try another one. But this time, we'll use it as a fabric texture. We apply the desired substance to the dress and open up the settings. This substance offers an extreme amount of adjustment possibilities. You can recolor every single element right down to the individual sequence sewn onto the fabric. It's a great example for the amazing possibilities Adobe Substance has to offer. So let's get started and change some colors. Now, your final result might look something like this. So 
Since Adobe substances are generated mathematically, some of them give you the option of using a randomized button to generate even more variants. Let yourself be inspired by the endless possibilities this incredible function has to offer. We also provide you with 10 ready-to-use substances in our new 3D Media data package. Already excited to try it out yourself? The Adobe Substance implementation is launching with the new 2022 version of 3D Media coming this fall.